The loan is for $191 million to pay for caps and stitches over I-35 once the Texas Department of Transportation gets done rebuilding a lower and wider freeway. The plan calls for creating public space over the freeway called the Our Future 35 project by the city. It's really important that as we go through with this project that we get it right and that we have as many covers as possible reconnecting our east side and west side communities. District 2 Council Member Vanessa Fuentes was part of the consent vote, a supporter of the cap and stitch proposal. Caps over the lowered freeway could become parks and pavilions and pathways across the space the freeway currently takes up. The city would also build out stitches from the bridges over the lowered lanes. We're asking folks to bear with the traffic jams that's going to be caused from the construction. And if at the end of that, all they're getting is a few extra lanes that might save you a minute on traffic, I don't think that's good enough. The current plan will cost $866 million to add more than two dozen acres of new land. Earlier this month, city leaders secured a $105 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. This new loan would come from the State Infrastructure Bank, which is a TxDOT fund, but they are not yet done funding the project, even as construction on I-35 is set to begin late next year. In Austin, Adele Uchida, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.